Hey everyone, this is the first video of this project and in this video, we will be starting with designing of our website. By designing, I don't mean like writing HTML or CSS. I mean that we will be doing a process called as wireframing. And the wireframing is a process of sketching how the website will look and feel. Now this doesn't have to be an exact sketch and a detailed diagram but more like a rough drawing. And in an overview, you can say that it's like an overview of the whole project, how it will look and feel. So the choice of tool for this is obviously going to be a whiteboard. And for this project, what I'm planning is that we will have three screens. So first is going to be the home page, you know, and second will be the search page. And the third is going to be the detail page. Home page will show some basic information about the project along with you know maybe like some points like top points you can show um, the search screen will have a search field which will be used to search for any currency and show the search results the detail screen will show some information about the specified coin which we have selected along with its you know price history and the chart format and everything so Let's get sketching. Let me go to my whiteboard and let's start with it. Okay, so here we are. So in my whiteboard, let's start with, you know, the first screen. So this is my, say for example, the viewport. Okay, so this is going to be the home. So in the screen, what I want is obviously I want a navigation bar at the top. So my top is going to be the navigation bar. Um, here on the left hand side, I probably will be looking for an image and a logo. I mean, the logo and the text and everything, you know, the site name or whatever we have. Then on the right hand side, I will attach a search button, a button, very typical button, which will be like a link, navigation link, you know. So this will be like search. Again, text and all, we don't have to decide right now, just an overview of how the website will look and feel. Next, next on the main section, I will have a big title, you know, like welcome to the project and just some information about that. Some basic couple of lines. On the right hand side, I am thinking of like an image, like a fancy, you know, um, 3D image or a 2D vector or whatever. I'm not really sure. But yeah, this is what I'm looking. Then below this section, below this section here, what I'm looking for is that uh, we show a list of coins, you know, like um, maybe a horizontal scrolling list. So where we will have like a card and we will show the coin image here, the name followed by the price. So something like this, maybe three or four coins. We can see about that. We can also attach, uh, if we want, we can also go with a scrolling list. Like, you know, it just keeps on scrolling uh, right to left and uh, like an infinite scroll kind of a thing. So something like this we want. And below that is obviously going to be the footer. So footer will be common for all of them. So I'll just have it separately here. Even the navigation bar will be common. So that should also be separate. But yeah. Mm, Footer, I will just have a copyright text, you know, on the left hand side, copyright, blah, 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 whatever we have. On the right hand side, we will attach a GitHub link, you know, like the source code of this project and everything, like link it to the repository. The next screen is going to be the search one. So let me drag and create a new one. So let's create a viewport for this as well here. Mm -hmm -hmm. Okay, so in this viewport, um, this is for the search. We already, uh, we already have the navigation bar at the top, so that is going to be their same thing, you know, logo, the title and the button and everything. Footer is already go going to be there. So, you know, the caption, the blah, 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 and the GitHub link. Now, search screen, what I'm thinking is, I'm thinking of like having a title here, like a big text saying search. Below that, I am planning to have obviously an input field. We need an input field in order to allow the search. 
um, maybe by a button followed by a button here like a magnifying glass or something you know similar to other major websites what we have um, after that we want to show like a list so here we will have a list of all the coins this list will be obviously fetched uh, by the API and uh, each of here we will like show a number one two three whatever followed by the image of that coin whatever the image is followed by the name followed by you know like the what do we say id not id yeah you can think of it like an id like you know short for example uh, ethereum here ethereum has eth as it's like a short code or id like for example bitcoin has btc so something like this okay so that uh, short code that id is going to be here the full name and the currency name whatever we have then followed by a button or an anchor something we would here you know like a more information so if you click on this or if you click on the more one it will take you to the detail screen and this will be like each row followed by everything will be here so same let me quickly replicate this thing and here this will be text actually so yeah this will be text here image some text some more text followed by the button so yeah this is the plan for the search screen this is the wireframe for my search screen let's move to the next one which is going to be the detail screen so let me quickly drag this take it out of the way and for my detail screen let's create the wireframe here go like this create my viewport for this one this is going to be the detail again it is assumed that we have the nav at the top and we have the footer at the bottom it's going to be seen right so now for detail screen what i'm planning is that uh, we have the coin logo here coin image at the left hand side followed by the price of that cryptocurrency on the right hand side and this price i want to show in you know multiple currencies um i'm thinking about three or four so maybe like you know have some price then another one then another one and then followed by the description so here we will have the heading you know this description followed by all the description about the, like a like a paragraph about that coin like what is the purpose what is the utility or you know why that coin is this data also we will get from the api and below that below that what i'm thinking is a full width chart and this chart is going to be holding your information about the price movement of this coin you know it increase decrease whatever like a line chart basically so this will be here will be like the time and here will be the price okay so this will be like a chart of pricing of that um this will obviously going to be in one currency so this will be in inr but the current price at the top can be in various currencies um i'm not sure but uh, we will probably be using inr obviously we have inr apart from that we might go ahead and use uh, us dollars and euros because these are like you know the next common ones and uh, yeah so these are these three screens which we will be using this is the detailed one then this is the search screen and uh, this will be the home page okay so that's um yeah that would be all for this video we know the wireframe we know the basic outline of how this website or in fact the whole project is going to look like and in the next video i will be doing the coding like actually writing the html and css part and creating you know the look and feel of this website okay so yeah that would be it for this video and uh, see you in the next one